Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about some lemmings that I've recently acquired. As you all know, earlier this year I purchased a ton of polish, a little bit over a hundred polishes just to give you an idea. And among those purchases, I was able to find some lemmings. All of these polishes were purchased on transdesign.com, which is like an online nail polish nail art supplier. Uh, I will leave the website in the description box for you in case you're interested in checking it out. They do sell this nail polishes at a very decent price, which is great because usually when you're looking for a lemming, uh, they're very overpriced on eBay. So I was lucky to be able to find them on Trans Designs inventory. Before we get to the five polishes that I have to share with you, I quickly want to talk about my nail polish. I do have a nail of the day video on this beauty, so I would link it in the description box for you as well. Uh, on my nails is uh, Tonic's Light of Lyra. And this is, I want to say, day five or six. And I don't want to take it off. I mean, you do see some tip wear right there. Uh, just a quick update for you guys. Um, there is definitely minimal tip wear there too, but I think it still looks awesome um, on day five. And to be brutally honest, I do not want to take it off. I And if I do, it's probably just to reapply it again. This polish is kind of making me wish I didn't own so many polishes. This is a polish that I would be very happy wearing forever. It was so easy to work with and it's it's just so beautiful. I don't want to make this video about this polish either, but uh, also, you know, I just wanted to quickly mention it because Tonic Polish was on my lemming list uh, of brands to try, which I already did a video on some of my lemming list polishes. I would link that in the description box for you guys. It was filmed a few months ago and uh, Tonic Polish was a brand that I really wanted to try and I'm so glad that I did because I'm in love. If you want to hear more about this beauty, uh, just check out that Nail of the Day video. I literally just rave about that polish for a few minutes straight. So let's not do that in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I found five of my lemmings. Three of them are from OPI, two from Shina Glaze. And the first one that you see here on my swatch wheel, it's one that was mentioned in my previous lemming wish list video and this is the beautiful my dog sleds the hybrid this beautiful polish is part of the 2011 fall collection and that was the nordic collection this is like a mix of mint and jade kind of color it's it's beautiful um maybe like a sea green it's so pretty and the reason why i wanted it is just for the color alone on this watch wheel you see one coat i wanted to add the second one on camera so you guys can see the formula uh, this formula is a little bit thin in my opinion, but surprisingly opaque and it levels out really nicely. I am very happy with this polish. So there you have it, two coats, fully opaque. I know this is a favorite of many and I totally see why now. I cannot wait to put this on my nails. The color is Beautiful. If you're interested in this polish, I also saw it recently at my local's Marshalls. So just check it out for $3.99 and you might save some shipping costs that you might have to pay if you get it from Trans Design. This is a beauty. I love it. So happy to have it. Next up, we have this beautiful glitter polish. You know I love my blues. This polish is from Shina Glaze. And this is another polish that was mentioned in my previous Lemmings video. This is in the color skyscraper this is a beautiful uh silver glitter polish on a blurple base it is part of the fall 2011 metro collection and it's beautiful on my swatch wheel same thing i have uh one coat it's very streaky definitely not opaque so let's go ahead and add the second one this is a polish that i fell in love with after seeing its um swatch photos online i just think the way it glows it's so pretty and here it is two coats of skyscraper it's just glowing uh, I think I might need a third coat but I'm not sure I have to wait till I put it on my nails I love how that uh, the color on the base builds up and it darkens I think this is like the perfect polish for a night out it's so gorgeous it's just so pretty next up I have this beautiful light murky grayed out khaki green uh, this is from the Pirates of the Caribbean collection. Um, can you guess what polish it is? It is this beauty from OPI in the shade Stranger Tides. I fell in love with this polish the moment I watched one of uh, Claire Gray's videos here on YouTube. Uh, when she's watched it, I knew I needed to have this green. It is 
such a unique green to my collection and I recently watched the film Stranger Tides for the first time and I fell in love with this movie. Uh, it's definitely my favorite one of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, followed by Dead Men Tell No Tales. I don't know what took me so long to get to these movies. 2018 has definitely been my year for catching up with old films. I just recently got into all the superhero movies too, so been doing a lot of movie watching around here. On my swatch wheel is one coat. I'm gonna go ahead and add the second one now. Also from this collection on my lemming wish list is, uh, what is it? Uh, Mermaid's Tears. I really want that polish as well. So here it is, two coats of Stranger Tides, very unique color in my collection. I love that color so much. Oh my gosh, like looking at these polishes, I, I can't believe I have them now. They're so pretty. This year I've been so into off-white polishes. I wish I could own them all. I know OPI released two off-white polishes on their Lisbon collection. I cannot remember the names of the top of my head, but I think one of them is Susie Chase's Portuguese. I really want that one. Um, also the one from the OPI Grease collection, the Don't Cry Over Spill Milkshakes, I think that's the name of it. I got that one recently and I'm so happy I did. I'm just really enjoying this kind of color so much. And this polish is very famous, uh, My Boyfriend Scales Walls. This was part of the 2012 The Amazing Spider-Man collection. And this is basically an off-white polish with a hint of gray. Here is one coat and yeah, it's a bit streaky. So let's go ahead and add the second one. And there it is, two coats of my boyfriend's scales walls. I need to put this on my nails, obviously. It's hard for me to tell if it's fully opaque. Um, I do see some streakiness right there. Um, but it's just a little hard to judge white polishes when the base of my nail wheel is white. You can definitely see that hint of gray coming through. So if you are one that passed on this polish when it was first released, I definitely recommend you check out Trans Design. Uh, their inventory changes, so I'm not sure if they still have it. But if you're on the hunt for this polish, I think that's a great place to start. And last but not least, I have this beauty from Shina Glaze. This is part of their 2012 Cirque du Soleil Worlds Away collection. And this is like a milky white base with multicolored glitter. This is in the color, it's a trapeze. Now this is a polish that recently made it up to my lemming list. I didn't even know this polish existed till a few months ago when I heard uh, Josephine from Polish Talk here on YouTube talk about it. And I just thought it was very interesting that China Glaze had like their take on a Crelly. And I wanted to try it, so I immediately went on the hunt for it. I realized how old it was, and I knew it wasn't going to be easy to get a hold of it. But again, Trans Design had it in stock. Here you see the first coat. Uh, that's a lot of glitter payoff, in my opinion. Uh, the formula is a bit thick, but that's kind of expected when it's so heavy on the glitter. So let's go ahead and add the second one. All right, so there's two coats of It's a Trapeze. You can definitely see how the milky base build up nicely on that second coat, really enhancing that curly type of finish. The glitter payoff on this polish is amazing, but I mean, just check out the bottle. There's so much glitter in there. Tons, tons of glitter. So that's kind of expected. I'm so glad uh, that we're not having to fish them out because that would have been very annoying. So here they are, my five newly acquired lemmings. I definitely have so many other polishes that I want to get my hands on. But here are the first five that I was dying to have and now I can play with them. I am now going to have to change my nail polish whether I like it or not. I got some of that Stranger Tides polish on my nail here. So I might wear one of these two polishes next. If I wear them before I upload this polish, I will insert a swatch photo of whichever one I pick. Alright guys, so here they are, my five new polishes. I am very happy to own them. These polishes make me so happy just to look at them. I can't wait to put them on my nails and play with them a little bit. If you own any of these polishes, let me know your thoughts or, you know, share one of your lemmings in the description box with me and I'll check it out. As always, I do appreciate you guys for spending some of your time with me. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye!